Welcome to the podcast with Face, Pat, and Tiz. Um, and keeping with the good and fuckery and keeping with trifling. Um, I came across this clip uh, this past week, and I kind of just wanted to play it and get y'all take on it and have a discussion on it. I had a couple questions on it. Um, so, yeah, watch this and then let me know what y'all think. Part of the show, we've got a goodie. We've got a goodie. This guy's name is DM. And, and he, he says, says question, question for Ish or Joe. Or Joe. Oh, God, I said that. <laughs> no, 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 no. You can pay tall. <laughs> What's good, y'all? I'm in a situation, situation with my wife. She went through my phone one day and saw that I was active on Instagram, Instagram liking, liking pictures, pictures messaging, messaging other, women. other women. I told her this was my ego and apologized. She, we tried to move past it, it but she, she can't, can't get over it for three, three months. months. To me, to me this, this isn't, isn't a big deal and nothing in the marriage over. She, she said, said it was, it was still, still cheating and, and grounds, grounds for divorce. divorce. I, I wanted, wanted to see why she was so passionate, passionate about it. So I went, I went through her phone and see her, and doing, her doing the exact, exact same, same thing. thing. I'm, in a, I'm spot. in a spot. We have, we have two, two kids and I'm a six-digit six earner, earner in Texas. Texas. She, she wants, wants me to instantly, me to instantly forgive, forgive her, her, but I thought, I thought this was cheating. cheating. What should I do? do? Uncle Pod. It's a tough situation. So, I got two questions off of that. First of all, is that cheating? And second of all, what are the social media rules when you're dating or married? Uh, ha, 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 ha. Oh, Lord. Um, what the fuck? <laughs> first of all, first off, um, I think that's totally dependent on the two individuals in that said relationship and their individual comfort zones with said social media. Now, we all know some of us are more advanced in social media nowadays than others. So, to some people who are novice, some things may not be, and they just be totally innocent. But to other people who are more advanced, they may see those same innocent gestures as something else because on their level of it, of engagement on social media, it means something else. If you so unless there's a common understanding between the two individuals, it'll always be some fractured understanding of it. So I feel like in a relationship, there should be like sad to say, but it has to be like a conversation on like what each other considers cheating on social media. Now, an obvious thing for me would be like messaging somebody of the opposite sex on some old, if it ain't about business, like some business. You have no need to be messaging said person. You feel me? like unless it's like an old friend and you just saying hi, catching up or some shit like that. That's understandable. I can understand that because I ain't no insecure ass nigga. But if it's on some other type shit, then of course it's on some other type shit. Um, as far as as far as liking pictures, I really don't see nothing wrong with liking pictures. But it it is dependent on the type of picture. I would say. If it's if you go if you happen to go on your wife's or your girlfriend's social media and I don't know how to find out how, what how a person likes a picture unless you log on to their shit I guess um so you happen to log on their shit and you see they like some dude picture okay he was at the beach chilling at the beach looking at the sunset no problem but take the same dude and you take him posing in some lewd ass pose and she liking it and putting the comments and other shit, then that's grounds to be like, hey, what's the fuck up? What's up with that? That's like flirting. You feel me? Like, so shit like that could be looked at on that type of level by anybody. But when you come to the 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 expectations of an individual, say I, um, I don't really fuck with social media. And in my household, like, if it ain't about business, we don't fuck with social media. So that's just that. Um, with every couple, I feel like as social media has advanced, 
issues has arrived by each on each individual about something social media unless it's been a mutual understanding. So I feel like those conversations have to be had in this day and age. Ten years ago, no. Nah. I don't feel like ten years ago you had to have a social media conversation because it was in its infancy and it was innocent. People weren't trying to use it to do the modern day dating thing because dating and courting has moved to online. So the same things motherfuckers was being accused for doing in person, you can be accused for doing digitally now. So, well, I definitely want to hear your take on it. You being the more the more social media savvy person and kind of being the person that's had to navigate social media as it's changed and as a single person. So you've had to like really interact with it. But I will say 10 years ago, well, I don't know how many years ago it was probably about 10 years ago. I got in trouble on social media for some way more benign than this. Like I just told a girl that she was pretty. Not that I wanted to be with her, not that, hey, let's get together, nothing like that. And we established right then, like, all right, on social media, uh, it ain't no telling nobody they look nothing. It, it, it Keep that shit professional. So that, and that was 10 years ago before the boom of TikTok, before Instagram took off like it is now. Like, you know, people was posting pictures, but it was more like, it really was more like just social interaction still back then, I feel like. So, like, I can only imagine now that it's like, yo, don't like shit, don't, look, just scroll. I, I, I Treat that shit like you walking down the street and don't don't get caught staring at nothing. Like, like it is like staring, and then if you get to DMing or hollering, that's like you hollering at them. So, like, just don't do nothing. Like, just scroll. And keep that shit pushing. <laughs> but Pat, what say ye on this? And what are the social media rules? Can't hear shit you sound. Is he speaking? Mm-hmm. His mouth moving, Paul's. <laughs> Must be BPD's nuts. <laughs> pause on that, please. Pause on that. Did you hear? Did you hear me say pause on that? No. Now we do. Okay. <laughs> got. Got. <laughs> all right. So what I was saying, it all depends on your relationship. All right. Um. I, from what I remember on that video, he said he actually admitted to the girl that the only reason I did it was on some ego shit to see if I still got it, right? Or whatever. And then when he found out that she did it, it was the same thing, pretty much. It's just that when she found out about him doing it, she blew it out of proportion. But when he found out that she did it, or, or whatever, he she wants him to just, like, forgive him. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I say it all depends on your level of understanding within your relationship because if y'all both flirtatious people or whatever and you don't really care what the other what she does or whatnot y'all because y'all know that y'all want to be with each other every day and you got that much confidence in each other it really don't if you say if you like a picture on instagram or whatever or or any other social media or put in a comment or whatever it might not mean anything to that particular type of couple or whatever yeah. But if if you're a couple and you um I would say you treat all of that the same way as if you were out and about, then you don't do it pretty much. The thing is though, people wouldn't even know anything about who likes what if it wasn't for when you go on that picture right under there, whoever you know that you follow is going to show if they liked it or not. That's real. You know what I'm saying? Like, so if you're scrolling down and you see a picture and, and you, you, you're a woman and you see this 
scantily clad woman. And the next thing you know, the guy you're talking to is known as one of the people that like that picture and shit. That's what happens. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you said- just have have to have that understanding between you and your partner when y'all get serious before y'all jump into it. To me, in my mind, like, in my mind or, or whatever, I, I've been in social media, so I don't really, for so long that it really doesn't matter to me or whatever. And, um, and, and in general, and, and the, usually the people that I hang around with, they, and they know social media the way it is. So, they don't really care about it them, themselves, but it all depends on the person. You know what I'm saying? Like it, if I get real uh, serious with a person, my mind might change about that, right? Or whatever, because I don't got serious with it. It's not. It's one of those things. Like, all right, I need to talk to you again because we didn't get to this level, and I know we're still doing the same thing we've been doing, but we got to this level, and now I'm feeling some type of way. Yeah. So I want to make sure that you're feeling the same type of way when I like somebody picture. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, but it, it's the same. It's the same with any other, just like with any other like relationship. It's just now we have technology to it. I feel I definitely agree that you need to have an understanding. I think it starts with like when you're first dating. Before y'all even get to the point where social media is a thing y'all worried about with each other. When y'all just, hey, how you doing? What what, what are we doing here? How you uh, Do I like you? All that. Like, have them conversations about boundaries right then. Like, hey, uh, so this is what I consider cheating. This is what I consider to be stepping over the line or disrespectful in a relationship. What do you consider that? Like, uh, how do you feel about that? Uh, what's our compromise here? But I get them shit out of the way. I feel like now more than ever, it's so many ways you can step across the line. So intentionally or unintentionally, just because of the access that people have to each other. Like the average dude back in the day didn't have access to as many women at one time. Uh, even against his like, even without him trying to have those the access to those women, like they're having access to him. So like mm-hmm. it puts him a position women didn't have as much access to as many men as they now do so like you could have the girl that used to be like just a regular girl in her small town but now because she has access to more, media. more attention and that, and that like it's just a whole lot of different dynamics that social media yeah. brings so I think them boundaries set is vital but I also think that like these days in 2022, if you're going to be a filthy person out here that's a cheating woman or a cheating man, don't use social media. Like, don't use technology because technology track everything okay. like that. The number one way people get caught in marriages and all kinds of shit are ruined is because of technology. They, they saw it on your iCloud. They saw they they caught that they read the email. They saw the DM. They got ex- you you didn't you didn't DM the wrong woman and she didn't exposed all your shit on the online. You didn't do you you didn't like you know what I mean like you, you didn't hollered at the wrong your dumbass. Woman. Got mad. Your dumbass cheated you know, and you got like, a family playing with your wife, bro. Like it, <sighs> it, it just like it's not worth it so like if you gonna be that filthy at least take the t- the extra time to like find a way to do that shit in person i don't know how you gonna do it and, and, and even then like find one of them little uh them little phone holders that they use at like the uh at like the dave Chappelle uh comedy show and stuff where where you you can't have your phone and had oh have, have like nda set up like you gotta have a whole legal system set up to mm-hmm. if, nasty now like you can't just be out here slanging because you gonna get caught it ain't no if and like this shit is like the feds now man like everybody is the feds mm-hmm. you are always one google away from having even all if, your shows, even so if like, they're not trying to be bruh it, it ain't even worth it no more like these days you got two options to me with well, three options you can either hey <clears throat> monogamous if you go and go ahead and be with somebody you can be be a nasty motherfucker and cheat 
but don't use social media or any other technological uh, apparatus. Or you can see, be single as fuck and just tell everybody, hey, I'm just out here trying to do the do and do your damn thing and have no worries about anybody caring about your life because I ain't yours and you ain't mad. So don't worry about my likes. But you got them three options to me if you're going to date. Also, be wary about the type of person that you have that um, if they do any business on social media, like if they're a content creator and you a jealous type, realize they're a content creator. They're online because that's what they do. Whatever. Mm -hmm. I, I'd be real confused. With, I've, I've seen situations where people are I've seen a woman brag about having someone that's a content creator, but be mad that they're doing stuff online. Like, yeah, like that. that yeah, as, as hell. You, you actually, in matter of fact, I've seen that person actually talk to that person because what they were a content creator. Yeah, that's real stupid. Like, yeah, that's that's the equivalent of the girl that wants wife, a rich uh, dude get the the trapper <laughs> and then be mad that he's trapping. You and know this you before you and accept it or don't, but, but don't, yeah. but but acceptance out of the way early, 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 like before y'all done really yeah. started. Like, say no, nope, mm -hmm. I this ain't gonna be my life. Like. I, that that give everybody more respect and give people an out clause before shit get too deep. And you can't say yeah. I, I'm out. And that goes for the dudes that go after the baddies. If you go after the girl, you see on no, Instagram, you, and you shit see it. You see all the likes that she has. Going on. And you're going to have to deal with all of that shit going on. Mm -hmm. Might have to deal with an OnlyFans account. Know that <laughs> bio link in bio booking information. She right. don't she don't play right. guitar. She don't she sing might, a song. She might get flew out to uh, Abu Dhabi or goddamn Dubai a couple of times. You might see some old rich guy in the background that look like he does not fit in the equation or whatnot. <laughs> but do not. <laughs> But do not get online and start acting like you're Kanye. This is my sponsor. <laughs> this is just my sponsor. He got a brand deal for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he got a brand deal, all right. And a brand on that ass. Anyway. Uh, I mean that. <laughs> but so yeah, what you getting into? You know what you're getting into? Yes, that can be considered cheating. And leave social media alone if you're gonna be nasty. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it's often said that social media is the devil. Anything can be the devil, though. If the wrong, stupid motherfuckers go to it, anything can be yep. a goddamn devil. If the wrong hands, anything can be turned into a weapon. And mm -hmm. that is why social media is the devil because it's full of dumb people that don't know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 